this is Michaela or Studios Octopus and I'm here today doing the Glossy Box unboxing for January 2018 the UK edition. This is the first new box of 2018. I don't think it's a limited edition, I think it's just the regular pink version. I've had the sneak peek for the facial oil and seen a couple of bits and pieces online but I'm just gonna get into it and we'll see what I've got. There it is there, and yes, I do have those beauty supplements, but I'm going to read the editorial letter and then I'll get into each item one item at a time. Happy New Year, Glossies. 2018 is upon us, Glossies, and although we've finally deglittered following a month of fun-filled festivities, there are a few things we need to take care of before we take full flight with the new year, rebooting and rejuvenating. This month we're hitting the reset button and putting self-care at the top of our priority list. We'll be drawing long baths and indulging in nourishing skincare formulas that'll coax our complexions back to full health. In this month's box you'll find five gorgeous treats to help you do the same, from sumptuous skincare to hand-picked organic makeup that will heal and enhance in a single swipe. And if you're all pampered out by the end of the month, we'll be gearing up for a supercharged February, so don't miss out on next month's box. So first off, what I have on top is this very, very, very oversized box here. This is Boots Beauty Beneath Supplements. While serums and moisturizers are vital for great skin, they can only penetrate so far, which is why it's a good idea to boost your efforts with a nutrient-rich supplement. Uh, the Beauty Beneath formula from scientists at Boots consists of two soft gel capsules taken daily, each packed with a complex blend of 19 nutrients essential for healthy, glowing skin. These nutrients work to boost your own collagen production, fading fine lines and wrinkles, while leaving your skin softer than ever. This is a 60 capsule pack, one month supply, so you're taking two a day. This is RRP of 39.99, and yes, this is from Boots itself, because I wasn't sure um, when I've seen it online if Beauty beneath is a company if it's made by another company and it says this is produced by the Boots Company PLC. So, and it does say as a little note it can take around four weeks for results to take effect which is why we've included a month's supply. Take yours daily for the best results. So I know there's not a lot of controversies about this because there are a lot of people who can't take these. Young people, obviously, I kind of would assume that's a given that they're not really recommended as a substitute for a proper diet for a child, but you are supposed to be careful if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, trying to become pregnant. Though that feels like it's quite a big part of a category where a box a box's subscri subscribers are predominantly going to be women. A proportion of us are going to have kids, be having kids, be wanting kids. That seems not so great. Have epilepsy or taking a warfarin or other blood thing medication, so if you have health problems in general. Not suitable if you have a thyroid disorder, not suitable for smokers, and so on and so on. Same as I know these contain things that make it not suitable for vegans, not suitable for or vegetarians, not suitable for people who don't eat fish, all of that other stuff. So it feels like they've they've put quite a lot of money into a product that not there's quite a few caveats to using this. On top of the fact that for me personally, I don't actually like or agree with a lot of these types of products. I always feel these are a bit unnecessary, beyond the point that it always feels like, particularly these ones that are aimed at beauty, aimed at beautifying and perfecting women, always seem to have double, triple, quadruple the price tag of sort of the more regular ones, and it feels very, pay this much money and you will be beautiful, which I don't think is a fantastic message, so that's a shame. As an aside, if you absolutely feel like this is the sort of thing for you, there are much cheaper alternatives than this £40 one. There's a, a Boots own brand one, like a Boots pharmaceutical ones, which I think is like Boots Perfect Woman or something like that, and it's a one month supply, contains fish collagen and a couple of other things, and that one's only £20. It's just, it's not quite as pretty or perhaps as that beauty market as the other one, unless they're planning on discontinuing that, they might. But yeah, so it's like, it's a bit disappointing. It's a very high value item, but 
I don't particularly agree with this sort of take this pill, you will have a great life sort of mentality. That's a shame. Anyway, I, sh I will show it off because I, I realise I'm evangelising a little maybe. So these are the supplies you get. You get this, which is blue or purple. Then you get this, which are the smaller ones. And then you get another set on the bottom. So I presume this is two weeks supply. You take one of each flavour a day. Very nicely packaging, very cute, very pretty, high value item. But I, I don't agree with this. I would not buy this. I wouldn't really recommend other people buy this. Even if you want to make sure you're staying healthy by taking a regular multivitamin. The things that this advocates, as I've said, is the, the selling thing that makes it an expensive product is you get that by eating fish. So just, we should all probably just try and eat a bit of fish, but we kind of all know that. So it's like... Mm. Uh, the other thing I've noticed when I took that product out is there's no tissue paper. I get that it's probably because it was a big item and they couldn't squeeze it all in, but I worry a little about the, the contents. Anyway, enough about the vitamins, we're moving on. This item next, I believe. And this is the Evelyn Iona Cosmetics Green Tea Primer. A good primer is essential for flawless, long-lasting makeup, which is why we're so smitten with this. Packed with moisturizing ingredients, including avocado oil and green tea extract, it'll nourish and protect your complexion, reduce the appearance of fine lines and large pores, and help your makeup stay put for longer. It's cruelty and paraben-free too. So this says on the bit of paper that it is full size. Hopefully that was focusing. There we go. Full size from Evelyn Iona. It's £22 RRP, but I think this is a converted price because it's a Canadian brand, it says here on the back. So this is full size. We get 20 milliliters, which feels pretty big for a primer. So it's a nice little cruelty-free and vegan 20 milliliter primer. With yes, I can see on the back here it says we've got jojoba oil, we've got avocado oil, we've got rose oil, lots of good sounding stuff in there. So a nice little sort of skincare sort of primer item. And inside there it is nice and sealed so you know you're getting something hygienic. Pop that off and pop some on there. And there it is there. It's kind of a white off-white cream that you get inside. It looks and feels and smells a lot more like a moisturizer than a primer but i'm assuming that's sort of um more what it's going for you're reducing the appearance of wrinkles you're smoothing out your set surface of your face with just that little bit of extra moisturizer and yeah that feels quite nice that feels quite smooth it has a quite pleasant sort of mild generic beauty smell so that's quite nice a nice little amount of skincare along with some i think we have some other skincare items skincare items are really nice to have in the winter months when the air is dry and everything is miserable. But next up is this item here. And this is what we got our sneak peek for. Dr. Botanical's Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil, travel size. So this isn't full size, you can get a bigger one. Uh, this gorgeous facial oil is packed full of skin enriching minerals and vitamins, which all work together to rejuvenate, renew and protect your complexion. Moroccan Rose is a potent source of vitamin A and C, plus antioxidants essential for protecting against free radicals. Pop three drops onto your fingertips and gently press into your skin, keeping it feeling hydrated and supple all day long. So the RRP of £55, it does say full size price on the label, finally. That's all it takes. I'm assuming because this is 15 milliliters and pretty standard size for facial oils is about 30. The full size might be 30, it could be 20, it could be 50. I will find out and talk about that at the very end. So this is supposed to be a travel size. So this is a rose essence in almond carrier oil. That's what this type of rose facial oil is. Not that that's particularly a bad thing, but I like to make the distinction between rose facial oil and rose hips facial oil. I personally prefer using rose hips. Roses in general are like moisturizing and calming and soothing, but rose itself is supposed to be for evening out your complexion, reducing redness, general amounts of moisturizing, which is still good. I prefer rose hips personally because it's, if you get a proper pure 100% rose hips oil, it's just the oil, there's no carrier oil because that's how that's produced as opposed to rose essential oil, which you can't put on your skin neat to be fair. That's why it's in a carrier oil. It would be, not be good for your skin to put it on it neat. Um, and rose hips is the 
one that is uh, anti-aging, antioxidant rather than rose absolute. But let's have a look. It's got very uh, rustic brown cardboard packaging, which I quite like. Does it say where it's from? I think this is actually from the UK maybe. And there it comes in the nice uh, dropper bottle. I think lots of people quite like these little medicinal style bottles with the droppers. There it is there. And this feels nice and good quality. It does have a faint rose smell. I'm not going to use it right now. But yeah, that looks really nice. And I do like that even the travel size comes with this dropper because I, I think I've mentioned it before when we've got travel and sort of sample size facial oils, the application sort of thing that you get to do it makes a lot of difference because if you put too much on a lot of the time with facial oils, that's what can upset your skin rather than necessarily the oil itself. It's just that you are only supposed to use two to three drops. So I'm going to be enjoying giving this a go and trying a new brand of facial oil. It's a little bit pricier than I think the one I usually use. I used for the longest time the Botanics one. They've reformulated that so I'm probably not going to. When I do have to buy a new facial oil I was probably going to try the um, Desiem one, the, or whatever it's called. Everyone knows the brand and it's the one with the like really first free packaging that took the everyone by storm. Uh, so yeah that's that. Full size is £55. I'll have a breakdown of the travel size version. Next is this item here. Oh, Cool looking. Okay, this is the Nail Medic Nail and Cuticle Energizer. If your nails are in need of some serious TLC, this reparative oil is just what you need. A delicious blend of vitamins, plant extracts, revitalizing eucalyptus and soothing lavender it gets to work on brittle nails, split cuticles and dry skin. Just massage a few drops into your nail bed and cuticles for instant hydration and stronger nails. This is full size, it has an RRP of $5.99, uh, not tested on animals, you get 15 milliliters that's a nail rejuvenator and energizer are you supposed to shake it or is it supposed to stay separated i might check that out online so we'll see actually i was a bit worried that i would be getting like a nail hardener which i don't think you are actually supposed to particularly use nail hardeners i think most people agree that they're not good for your nails in the same way that sort of skincare products that say they're going to get rid of acne by drying your skin out is like i think in the same way nail hardeners like temporarily harden harden your nail and then they become more brittle afterwards. But if this is just a nail oil, nail oils are actually quite good for your skin and your, your uh, nails. It's basically like using hand cream, but I suppose more concentrated because it's oil and yeah, you can just brush this on, massage it in. There we go. Nail Medic Rejuvenator. That actually might tempt me to use it because I uh, admittedly am not usually bothered by nail products. And then the last product I have here is this one here. This is a Apicia Cream Blush. If you're new to cream blush, this couldn't be a better introduction. As with all Apicia products, it's rich in organic bee pollen to nourish skin. For a subtle flush of colour, dab it on slowly and blend in, building up the colour as you need. A deep honey pink, this hue suits all skin tones. This is apparently also full size. It is French, I think. It, yeah, it seems to be French. RRP of £22 with a star, so I'm assuming that's just a converted price. It has very cute packaging, and then yes, on the back it says we've got 99.7% natural origin in the ingredients. That's nice. The ingredients list is nice and small. It looks like we've got some oils, water, the usual stuff you expect to see, and then glycerin and I presume the colour. We aren't safety sealed on top there. Oh, and we get do 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 20 millilitres, 20 millilitres. I'll just pop a dot of this out. There we go, that's the colour there. Jess is very pinkish reddish which looks very pretty and like it would be very flattering. Quite dark there, but obviously the idea, yes, with the cream blush is you can work it and fade it out as much as you want to get quite a nice subtle reddish blush there to the sort of a more pronounced blush that you've got over here. I have tried cream blushes before. I've tried an elf one and I've tried a sleek one, I think. The only honest downside I tend to have of cream blush items, if you see it as a downside, because they're a lot of the time really really um, concentrated. I find they last so long that I never get to go through a tube before like it goes off. I think the elf one that I had just went like solid inside because I had it for that long because they're, they're very concentrated, very pigmented in there 
sort of delivery and then you just use a tiny tiny bit on your cheeks. I quite like a cream blush. Uh, so it was the only other consideration you usually have to take while using them is how well they play with powder products and stuff like that. So there we go, that's the box. We've got four actually quite nice items. I, I was a bit disappointed by the beauty supplements initially. I do think that's a bad call on Glossy Box's part. But all of these four items, I actually have really, really liked the look of. This is the kind of stuff that I want from Glossy Box. You know, nice skincare, cute makeup stuff, stuff that I've never seen before. So I actually do like all these four items, admittedly. But I'm gonna just gonna pop away and I'm gonna work out how much everything is worth, converted prices, full size prices, all that sort of stuff, and I'll be back in just a moment. Hello and we're back. So looking at each of the items one at a time. Yes, a cheaper alternative. If you absolutely feel like this type of product is the type of product for you, despite the fact that you can get all of this from you know the healthy eating we're all supposed to do if you see it as sort of a good healthy backup to have The primer is American. I converted its price as being worth 21.40, so 21, 22 pound is about right. The facial oil, it's another one of those ones where yes, they've put on the card that this is travel size and the full size is 55 pound, but you can buy the trial size, travel size version from them directly. It has an RRP of 35 pound 90, which if anything, actually, it never made sense to me that they put the bigger the price for the bigger versions on because proportionately this is actually more expensive. So really, you're sort of getting a higher box value. So £35.90 for this nice travel size one. The full size one is 30 milliliters, so you get double the product and that one is £55. So yes, technically, if you wanted better value for money, you'd have, if you like this and wanted to buy it again, buy the full size version because obviously twice the price of this is more like £61, whereas if you actually buy the full size 30 milliliters, it's only £55. So you are saving about six, seven pound on top of it, which isn't bad actually, because a lot of the time the, the saving is not fantastic. It's more sort of um pennies here and there, but there we go. So the Pretty Woman Nail Rejuvenator, Nail Medic Rejuvenator, I didn't say it, is from the com company Pretty Woman NYC, uh, and it, it costs on its website $7.99, which I've converted as $5.79, so the price of about £5.6. Again, that's actually accurate, and sadly it doesn't have any more information about it on the website. Some of that other nail products say, you know, what's in it, what you do with them, how you apply them, but on the web page for this one it doesn't say anything additional, whether you're supposed to shake it and not shake it. Does it say on the bottom? It has the ingredients on the bottom of the list. And it does contain like extracts, green tea, oil in there, argan oil, jojoba oil, witch hazel. Uh, it's my understanding of these types of products is that you should shake it and you're applying it sort of roughly around the nail rather than say using it like a top coat or anything like that. So there we go. Uh, and then the last item is the Apicia. However you say that, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that. Something rotten. And this is a French brand. Full price, this is 20 euros, which is the only one that I would say kind of stood out as being a bit of a not great conversion. I've converted that as £17.81, not that £22. I get that prices fluctuate quite a bit, but to change by about £5 seems a bit much. So that doesn't really seem like they've given it the most honest price, perhaps. But the brand also looks really, really nice online. So, total box value without the beauty supplements is actually still £80.90. It's still a really healthy box value. And like I said, I actually really like the look of all of these items. A moisturising primer, a rose facial oil, a nice natural cream blush, and a nail oil type item. These are all really nice items. Lots of sort of skin 
skincare and oils and moisturizing and pampering and sort of all of that good 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 stuff I actually really like the look of all four of these and then if you do want to count the supplements as well because these have an RRP of £40 my total box value actually came to £120 89 pence but i think this is absolutely a case of it's a very high number but whether or not you feel that's worth it is up to you whether you would buy it or whether you get the use out of it this i wouldn't buy this i wouldn't buy a 40 pound box of month supply supplements and i wouldn't particularly recommend other people do even if you what think you might need a little extra in supplements there are more affordable brands you can buy is would be my recommendation and then we do have a sneak peek. Uh, make sure your makeup doesn't let you down on Valentine's Day. February's glossy box contains the Studio 10 Makeup Mist Glow Plexin, a primer, hydrating spritz and setting spray all in one. It'll brighten skin, refine pores and keep your makeup fresh and glowing. So there it is there. We have a nice little multi-use face spray there to look forward to in February and chances are February's box will also be the limited edition Valentine's Day box, which is always quite cute. Uh, but that was the January 2018 UK Glossy Box unboxing, first box of the month. I was expecting to actually be a little bit more disappointed by this box on the face of it. The look of these four items is good enough that I suspect it will save the box for me, though I disagree with the supplements and I do think that's a mark against Glossy Box for me. When I actually get to try these four products out I will have a better feel of whether this month's box was worth it or whether it was good. So I will see you for that verdict in the January catcher. Thank you very much for watching I will see you again next time. Hello this is Michaela or Studious Octopus and I'm here today finally doing my December 2017 UK Glossy Box catcher. And so begins Colette. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought, uh, that was my. Nice. I'm supposed to. Don't I say that? So, train line. What, what?